Welcome to Thunder Show, a project which you can be a part of. Please send your videos to thundershow at gaijin.ru. When you leave your smart comments, don't forget to write us your in-game nickname in the right case so that we can find you and send the reward in this episode. No rockets, no problem. Good score. Unpredictable. Matter of fuse time. Leapfrog. Let's get started. Attacking ground vehicles only using machine guns and cannons is an option, but it's far from the most efficient way, unless you're Zakodak, since that player can take three enemies in one go with no rockets, all because the enemies had either weak roof armor or even an opening on their top. That's how you become successful when flying an attack aircraft. Find a good spot, pick a good target, and aim well. It's also good for a victory on Thunder Show, which, by the way, rewards you with some golden eagles. Italian ground vehicles are mostly famous for their high-speed machines, but there's one secret weapon the Italians have for the low ranks, the P-40. It's a medium tank with amazing armor. Of course, experienced players know its weak spots, but looks like there were none among those Simon Cine met, or they didn't aim well since most of their rounds simply ricocheted off their tank, which they turned to their advantage and managed to earn some 12 frags without leaving the tank. Good score! And here are your eagles, Simon Sinney. Even with an 85mm gun, the T-34 can struggle in penetrating the Tiger's frontal armor, especially when there's some cover involved. Our next winner, however, managed to destroy it anyway. Although it wasn't the Tiger, it was a nearby tank destroyer. How did that happen? Well, ricochet isn't the most predictable thing. Check it out! Your eagles are coming, Niboto. Check that they don't ricochet. We've seen so many videos about the tunnel on the Frozen Pass map. Looks like every other single-engine plane tried to fly through it. Larger machines, though, seem to be unable to repeat that trick. So what do their pilots do with the tankers camping there? You can try doing what Shaw did. Aim for the tunnel entrance, gain some speed, and drop your bombs right before you exit the dive. The rest is a matter of time. Fuse time. Meanwhile, we'll get the Eagles ready. 5,000 are yours, Shaw. When you're hiding behind a boulder, it's so simple to control the enemy approach. Basically, you can only be attacked from two directions, and it's kind of obvious which route the enemy will take. You just check the environment and quickly turn towards the threat, right? Well, Mapuk found a third option. They just sped up, leapt over the cover, and skillfully shot the enemy out of existence before they knew it. Nice trick! Worth some 5,000 golden eagles. Congratulations, Mapuk! <laughs> 